Navigating the mountain roads on the outskirts of Venezuela's capital, Caracas, Arimóvil delivers news to places where regular media no longer travel. The main idea of Arimovil is to cover parts of the news deserts that exist in our capital city and in our country. Around a fifth of Venezuelans have limited access to information, and media is restricted, says Media Watchdog, the Press and Society Institute of Venezuela. Some areas have little or no internet access. Elsewhere, radio stations have closed or are censored. In Venezuela, there are more than 50 laws that restrict, criminalize and block free and independent journalism in the country. The Arimovil is an alternative to go where the people are to keep them informed, which is our job. Their customers appear eager for the deliveries. A carnival-like atmosphere sweeps Turgua, a rural community about an hour outside Caracas. As the Arimobile team set up, children and adults gather, music plays and the reporters get to work. In small towns like this, residents say, keeping informed is a struggle. Normally in rural areas is very difficult because sometimes the internet is very slow or sometimes in many places there is no internet. And normally you can see a television station but not everything is there. That's where Arimobile comes in. The mobile news group is focused on helping people like Pacheco and her cousin, Kelin Ser Pacheco, stay informed. They also teach people how to detect sources of mis- or disinformation. There are some news programs that tell lies. They do not convey the truth. The idea of Arimobil came from an alliance of three news websites that Venezuela's media regulator, Conatel, frequently blocked. Media watchdogs say Venezuela has a history of blocking access to independent news and that the country's journalists work amid restrictions and threats of legal or physical attack. Our target is the citizen. We decided not to stay put and stay censored, but to go look for the citizen bringing our information to the neighborhoods. By also reporting on problems in the neighborhoods they visit, the team helps form a bond with the community. There is no place where residents can report problems in their communities. The Arimovil will allow or already allows the possibility for residents to come forward to make their complaint to talk about their needs. As night draws in, people gather in the street to watch videos on issues affecting their country, including disinformation. Arimovil has been broadcasting to towns like this for six months now a bright light in a dark period for media. For Adriana Núñez Rabascal, in Caracas, Venezuela, Cristina Caicedo Smith, VOA News.